Big news, the Pragyan has snapped images of its uh, lander Vikram on the moon. Big smile. Um, clearly, the ISRO putting out its very uh, cheeky uh, captions there. Smile, please, says the rover to the lander on the moon. Moon's dusty landscape in the foreground after mineral treasure trove on the moon. Now, Pragyan clicks an epic image for the album, Lander Vikram, shown with key payloads, India's moon probe in all its glory. This is certainly a big a moment of pride for ISRO, as this is exactly what was planned, that in a few days, uh, the Pragyan rover would turn around and click the image of its Lander Vikram. And that's the image that you see here, the image of the Lander Vikram that's carried uh, Pragyan all the way to the surface of the moon. Uh, and as we see here, this is the first image that uh, shows the dusty landscape of that foreground on the moon. And after the mineral treasure, they found sulfur. One should know that uh, rover Pragyan has found sulfur on the moon. And as the quest now is on to find hydrogen, uh, we see that Pragyan in the meanwhile has, has clicked a picture of its lander Vikram. Vikram seen there with all its key payloads. India's moon probe now in full glory with every detail that has been planned going as per schedule. Let me cut across to Shilpa Nair for more on that. Shilpa, uh, th this was really a moment awaited for the rover Pragyan to click a picture of its own lander Vikram. And here you see it. And the, the very cheeky, fun caption put out by Istro saying, smile please. You see the Vikram lander very clear on the surface of the moon. Tell us a little more on the joy that Istro may be experiencing right now as they see every movement going as per plan. Well, absolutely, Nabila, and it looks like Pragyan is quite the multitasker because on one hand, it's carrying out studies. It's, uh, you know, on the lookout for uh, presence of hydrogen. It, uh, you know, I had, of course, confirmed that Pragyan has, uh, you know, uh, spotted the presence of uh, sulfur. So the, the exploration aspect, I said, it's now clicking pictures. And what a spectacular image that ISRO has just put out uh, where Pragyan has clicked a picture of uh, the lander Vikram on the lunar surface. And this this uh, picture was, of course, taken by the navigation camera on the rover. So uh, clearly, uh, the picture that has now come, it, it still feels surreal for many of us who've been tracking this. Uh, you know, it feels surreal that India is finally on the moon. And these pictures, it just adds to the joy. It just adds to the pride, uh, you know, that all of us are experiencing at this point in time, the kind of uh, achievement, the remarkable achievement that uh, scientists at, at ISRO has managed to uh, achieve. It, it's, it's quite remarkable. And this picture, uh, that ISN has put out with that, that uh, cheeky title, Smile Please. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, uh, lander Vikram, you know, standing very sturdy and stable on that lunar surface, uh, despite all the, you know, uh, atmospheric uh, problems or uh, the lunar dust and all of that. It's standing sturdy. And yeah. uh, Pragyan, of course, rover is uh, walking all over the moon, getting us data, uh, getting the scientists at ISRO the key data that they're looking for uh, regarding the press of elements like hydrogen and other such uh, you know elements uh, so clearly at this point in time it's performing its task all of all stages all operations all processes uh, regarding Chandra so, 3 so has it's, been successful it's taken and roughly this about 7 days the joy all of us experience absolutely you know shilpa it's taken roughly about 7 days for the pragyan rover to turn around and click the image of its lander vikram and and look at the clarity of those images that's what's really uh, astonishing that the the rover is able to click such clear images images of what it sees there and we believe it's a startup in Noida that's really acted as the eyes of the rover Pragyan. Akshita Ananda Gopal who's been very closely tracking the Chandrayaan 3's movements, the success of that mission Akshita, uh, this must be uh, the, the, a moment of joy for ISRO and of course all of us Indians as we finally see the rover moving around, turning around and clicking the picture of its own lander. The, the, the mission so far has been accomplished successfully. This is the picture we've all been waiting for, Nabila. The picture of the rover turning around and clicking. Lando Vikram also in action. What's so amazing about Chandrayaan 3 is that both the lander and the rover have been equipped with all sorts of equipment to continue the research on the moon. So what you see is Lando Vikram not just chilling while he's resting on the south pole of the moon, but busy in action because there are three payloads on board Vikram. One is Rambapit, two of which 
Two of the others which you see in action, one is chased, which is uh, a sh a shot in fact for Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment. And then you have ILSA, which is the instrument for lunar seismic activity. What does that mean? Well, essentially chased, and this is information, by the way, that was released yesterday, which got a lot of us very, very excited. What chased does is it's drilling down into the surface of the moon. It's got about 10 centimeters. And in that 10 centimeters, it's identified a 50 degrees Celsius difference in temperatures from the lunar surface and below. And that once again gives you hope that maybe there's water, frozen water, below the surface of the moon. That's what makes that 50 degrees Celsius difference. What about ILSA? ILSA, as I mentioned, is the instrument for lunar seismic activity. So what it's doing is it's currently already deployed and is recording all the seismic activities on the South Pole region of the moon. Ramba P also currently is in action that's essentially identifying the density. So it's so interesting to see these pictures. For any space buff, Nabila, it doesn't get better than this. You mentioned clarity of the pictures. It's amazing to see because you look at this picture, you can make out so clearly what the surface of the moon looks like. You can make out a few small craters also close to Vikram. Uh, but largely from the pictures that rover Pragyan has sent of lander Vikram and of his journey so far on the surface of the moon, you can see why this particular spot was chosen. This is Shiv Shakti Point right there. Our first picture of Shiv Shakti Point shows it to be perhaps one of the few small smooth surfaces on the South Pole of the Moon. But like I said, it's amazing to see Lando Vikram also out there steadily. You can see, in fact, from Absolutely. all of these areas that it's steadily, firmly in position there at the Shiv Shakti point and very much in action with Chased, Ilsa and Ramba in action. You know, uh, le let's not forget the fact that it is quite a rocky, patchy area. The South Pole of the Moon is, uh, it, it, it is rough. And that was what was understood right from the word go. And the fact that Chandrayaan-3 mission has so far been a successful one really shows the ISRO's prowess and uh, how its predictions and work works towards this has been on point. Shilpa Nair is still with us. Shilpa, uh, after that historic landing, uh, the rover Pragyan has gone on to find sulfur on the moon. And that also suggests that this could, this could have traces of frozen water. That's what's uh, uh, predicted, that if there's sulfur, then that's possibly also frozen water on the moon that it could find. It's now on the hunt for hydrogen. And while it, while it moves around in that rough terrain, it manages to very strategically turn around to take that picture of Vikram Lander. Well, uh, yes, absolutely beautiful to even imagine, uh, you know, just the Pragyan turning around and clicking that picture. And that, of course, is the Shiv Shakti point. We, uh, the Prime Minister named the landing site of Chandrayaan-3 as Shiv Shakti point. So what you see in that image is a Shiv Shakti point. And uh, yes, like you rightly mentioned, you know, all these experiments that the lander and even the rover Pragyan, uh, all this is a treasure trove of information for scientists, not just in India, but across the world. Uh, because remember, India is one of the first countries to land in the South Pole a region of the moon and uh, the, the, the information that we get from this region is going to be very crucial for scientists across the world to study Absolutely. more about the lunar surface. Uh, of course, uh, ISRU had put out uh, information that uh, it has already detected presence of sulfur and several other minerals. It is now on the lookout for hydrogen. Uh, the uh, main idea, of course, is to see whether there is frozen ice or any kind of water element that is present uh, on the lunar surface. Uh, but uh, that experiment is still going on, and Akshita explained in detail the kind of other experiments that uh, yeah. you know, the lander yeah. is now carrying out. So clearly this is a very, very prestigious moment for uh, Absolutely. the scientists and that's, the, that's the image and, uh, of that, uh, uh, that pride, you know, that very Chandra proud Chandra moment. Is, uh, that very proud moment here is, is visible on our screens with the, with the rover, the six-wheel rover Pragyan, turning around to take that beautiful, clear image of its, uh, its transport vehicle, the Vikram lander. Those are the images that ISRO has put out, our space agency, a huge... Uh, uh, in fact, as we see that ISRO has managed to bring this uh, to the Chandrayaan-3 mission to this success, uh, all the credit going to ISRO undoubtedly. And this is the kind of pride that we feel for India with the rover Pragyan managing to click the Vikram lander's images with such great clarity.